What's the difference between hard and soft power? Isn't power just power? Geek out with me. Russia is the most powerful. No, North Korea is the most powerful. No, the US is the most powerful. Okay, everyone claims to be the best, but what does it mean to have power? Power is generally defined as the ability to get others to do what you want. Like when Taylor Swift re-recorded all her original music and her fans then memorized every single line of the 10 minute version of All Too Well, that was power. I didn't do that, who did that? In international relations, there are different types of power. Hard power is when a country uses economic, military, or political coercion to influence the behavior of others. That kind of power, that ability to do that, relies on tangible resources of a state, like its armed forces and money. So for example, Russia invading Ukraine and the United States responding with tough economic sanctions are both examples of leaders using hard power. In this case, neither side really got what they wanted, so maybe not the most effective use of hard power. On the other hand, you can use soft power. This is when someone persuades or influences others to do what they want and you get them to share your values without coercing or threatening them. One of the ways the United States uses soft power is by funding cultural exchange programs. The State Department's Bureau of Educational and Cultural Affairs supports programs engaged with 155 different countries and more than 75 Nobel laureates are alumni of this program. Another example is the State Department's hip hop program called Next Level, where they send American hip hop artists around the world to connect with young people of other countries. These efforts are meant to foster mutual understanding and inspire positive sentiment toward the United States as a whole. It's cool, right? It sounds very grassroots level, but when you've connected with young minds on things of shared interest, it brings people together and can end up cultivating relationships between two states more broadly, allowing each party to get what they want. Maybe if everyone used soft power, there'd be world peace. Countries rarely only use hard or soft power. In fact, they often combine the two. And that is called smart power. Smart power strategically applies diplomacy and persuasion power and influence to achieve desired outcomes. So when you see the United States or other countries increasing their military spending while also investing more in international institutions and alliances, that's them using smart power. As of now, there's no official definition for dumb power, but I'd be curious to your thoughts in the comments below. Ultimately, there are a lot of hard and soft power tools in the foreign policy toolkit, and leaders figure out how to strike that balance based on what their people want and the global implications of their actions. So what kind of power do you think is the most effective? Let us know in the comments below, and obviously don't forget to like this video and subscribe, and thanks for geeking out with me. Thank you.